Hey everybody! Our project for today is to tie up these blackberry vines that are growing along the ground that are just not quite long enough to go over the railing. But I want them to train upwards onto the railing and not grow on the ground, so we're going to tie those up. And what I'm using today are cable ties. And I have 14 inch ones. And I've tested them already, so they should work well. And so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to start with this one right here. There's two here, but this one's not long enough. So this is the one we're going to start with. Okay, I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to train it to go upward. I'm going to use this cable tie. And I'm going over here and wrapping it around the vine. And up through, just pulling it snug. And there we go. So I'm going to do that on several more on this other side over here. Like I said, these are some of these are too short right now, but I can actually use the one that I zipped up to try to get that one going upwards. This one's too short, but we'll start over here and continue. Do this one next, and I'm just going to do the same thing. Whoops. <laughs> Just gonna pull it tight so you can hear it. And there we go. Just gonna keep the ones up the top. Gotta have the cable flip the right way. I don't know, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe. Okay, so I'm moving it over here where this railing is a little bit thinner, and maybe I can get it. There, you can hear it. Okay. All right, we've got several over on the other end over there. Oh, I see one over here too. So what I wanted to show you was with the zip tie on this end, you can see the very end, I'm shaking, the very end is different. It doesn't have the tiny little ridges, so you have to be able to pull the zip tie to the point of these, these tiny ridges right here. So it's not going to hold if you just pull it to right that there. You've got to get to these thinner ridges. These branches are actually from the mother plant, and they are long enough, but when we get our strong winds, it always ends up blowing down. So I definitely want to tie these up here, and since they're long enough, I'm going to tie them up on the top, and 
I'm not going to do all of them. I'm going to do one and use that one. Well, they are attached, I think. But I'll use this one to wrap this one around and hold it so I don't do too many zip ties or cable ties. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Again, it's coming from the mother plant. that likes to hang out around the rain barrel and he decided he decided to go hide I'm doing one more and it's this one it's, again it's coming from the mother plant and just so it stays up off the ground And I think that does it. These other ones are, are shorter. And so I think that covers all of it. Kind of show what we've done. What did I use? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cable ties. And it shouldn't harm the plants. Um, some of the leaves, I might have got them caught up in the zip tie, and that's okay. Those may die, but it doesn't mean the plant will die. And they should just start, for instance, this one. It should just keep growing upwards. This is just helping keep it off the ground and train it to grow upwards. All right, so the other thing I'm going to do today is trim this. So you can see this mother plant is kind of going in every different direction. And I try to keep trimming it. You can see some of the cuts I've made in the past, and it always will shoot off of where you make a cut. I just have to keep cutting it because I don't want it to grow towards the rain barrel. So I'm going to make a cut down here and it there's no rhyme or reason I mean other than where you want it to grow and where you don't want it to grow. But I'm just going to keep these trimmed back. So that's what I was talking about. Where you make a cut, which I did probably earlier this season, it's actually going to grow a new stem. So I'm just going to keep cutting. I don't want it to come out here. I actually want my entire, all of my plants to start filling in on the fence line. So I want to keep the mother plant actually cut a little bit more than I have been. So I'm just going to do some pretty major cuts on this one. Just to get it a little bit more under control. Let's see. You can see what happens here in the heat of summer. And this is another reason why I want it to grow on the fence line because it's it gets a little more shade closer to the house. These tend to just fry that are over here on this end. I think part of it is the heat coming from the gravel and just the exposure to the sunshine on this side. So you can see all the blackberries that we didn't get because they just shriveled in the heat. So I'm going to trim those guys off. And keep encouraging this plant to grow the other direction. And some of these canes don't have anything on them. They are an old stem that nothing will grow on. So those I'm going to go ahead and remove. Some of these I just use as trellises for other stems too. All right, I think I am going to cut this one pretty drastically. And this stem, even though I've already cut it, I'm going to cut it down low again. Oh, there are still blackberries growing. 
And that's kind of unusual by this time. They've already done their thing, but these are still green and small. So we might still have some. I've just been eating them as I come outside and pick them, pick them and eat them right away. We um, unfortunately did not have a whole lot this year, as you could see, most of them fried. I hope this video has been informative and you've enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.